Hello all, greetings from CDFI. We are here to provide more information for you for the low cost application. Now, in this video, we will learn how to create a CLF profile. In the previous video, we learned how to upload a village organization and send it to the BPM ID. Hence, similarly, we will follow a similar pattern for the CLF profile as well. Now, we will learn how to go from the village organization role to the CLF role under the same bookkeeper ID. Here, Saritak. For this we need to click on the three lines on the topmost left corner and select the Change Role option. For this we need to proceed to select the role, CLF Bookkeeper, and press on Change Role. The application will now direct us to a fresh new page where we need to select the language options, English being the default selected language. Now the Bookkeeper login ID is right in front of us which has been auto-filled. Now we need to simply click on Login. Instantly the master data starts to download. Now the next step is to generate the 4 digit pin here. We keep the same pin 1, 2, 3, 4 for our convenience. Now the ID Saritak is opened in our page wherein the role is of the CLF bookkeeper. Click on the CLF tab displayed on the home page. On the top we have the option of choosing our preferred language option. And now in order to bring all the IDs input by the BPM to our ID we need to click on CLF profile synchronization and click on the complete data download option. The data would then start to download. Now when we go back to the main screen we can see that 1. CLF is being reflected in the CLF tab. We proceed to click on the CLF tab and we can see that Prerana Mahila Cluster Federation has already been uploaded. However, the red cross sign shows that this CLF has been rejected by the BPM. We can see the MIS score of the CLF being highlighted in blue and the registration date of the Prerana Mahila Cluster Federation. However, in the green circular shape we can see a zero, which goes on to show that the CLF data needs to be mapped. For the mapping of the CLF data we will follow a similar process as conducted for the village organization mapping. Proceed to click on the three dots on the screen and select the option of Download Mapped Data such that we can obtain all the number of village organizations associated with the CLF to be in our record of data. Once the data has been successfully downloaded, we can see 14 village organizations which are associated and linked with the Prerana Mahila CLF to be reflected in the green circular shape. Again similar to the village organization profile, we will follow the similar steps to create the CLF profile. Hence. Moving to the CLF profile we shall proceed to fill out the basic details, like filling out the block name, CLF name, formation date, promoted by. While filling out the name of the CLF, we need to make sure that the name matches the name displayed on the bank passbook. As for the meeting frequency we will select the option of fortnightly as every CLF meets in the frequency of a fortnight. To select the date, we can further look into the dates in the CLF repository data files. For the purpose of the demo we will select the from and to dates, 5th and 20th respectively. Under the option of financial intermediation, it is necessary to select the option button, yes. Unless we don't press the option, yes, we will not be allowed to upload the SHG data. Hence we need to be careful while selecting the options. Moving further, based on the CLF saving frequency we shall select the compulsory saving to be monthly. In the option of compulsory savings, mention the compulsory saving amount as 200 rupees. Since no interest is added on savings, we put 0 in the option space. If the CLF undertakes any kind of voluntary savings then click Yes in the option given, if not, then select No as the option. In the next step, 
The question asks us whether the bookkeepers have been identified or not so we go ahead and say yes. The bookkeeper is an internal bookkeeper so we select the yes internal option. Now from the drop down menu option select the name of the bookkeeper who has been identified. Once the name of the bookkeeper has been confirmed by the CLF, we select the name from the options provided to us using the drop down. Here, in this specific CLF Neelam Kumari is the bookkeeper. For the option of tenure of elected office bearers we can simply put 24 months since on asking the CLF members, they mentioned that the office bearers are changed in every two years. Hence we need to click on the camera option to click the picture of this copy. Since we are working on the test version for the purpose of the demo, we are going to click a dummy picture. But in the live version of the application we will only upload the original version of the copy. Now as the final step in the process we click on the save option at the end of the page, which will be followed by a pop-up message stating that the data updated successfully. This is it for the information for basic details credentials. More information will be provided in the subsequent videos. Thank you.